discipline against our soul. A lot of things that the enemy has been doing secretly and even openly. Sometimes some people will receive arrows. Sometimes some people will receive bullets. Sometimes a lot of things are happening here and there. But God has been our defense. God has been the one that has been fighting our battle for us. Fighting on behalf of our wives. Fighting on behalf of our husband. Fighting on behalf of our children. Even some of our children that are far away. We don't even know what has been going on about them. Yet the hand of God has been keeping them. That's why he said, praise ye the Lord. Then he said, I will praise the Lord with my own heart. If you praise God affectedly, I mean affectedly, and you praise God half a half, let me tell you, it shows you don't appreciate what God is doing for you. It shows you don't appreciate that God has been so gracious, has been so loving, has been so caring in your life. He said, I will praise the Lord with my own heart in the assembly of the upright, in the assembly of the just, in the assembly of the people that call upon the name of the Lord. And he said, and in the congregation, look at what he said. The reason why he's praising God, he said, the works of the Lord are great. Do you ever, do you ever think about it? That how God, you sleep like a log of wood. You did not even know what is happening all around you. Only to, for you to wake up and say, ah, so it is daybreak. So this is what has happened. At that time, your spirit is no more. It has gone. You are nowhere to be found. And that's exactly the way it happens to some people. I saw something on social media, you, I think about a week ago or two weeks ago now. And the, the man jumped from Todd Milan Bridge and he dived into the water. He fell, he just killed himself. People were trying to, to, to realize it, he has jumped into the water. So, so many, many lives have been lost, and God of heaven has been so good watching over us, keeping us, preserving us, protecting us, ele elevating us, giving us the breakthrough, defending us against all the armies of the devil, defending us against, against all the onslaught of darkness, of the paths of darkness. And that's why we want to praise God. He said, the works of the Lord are great. Sought out of all them that have pleasure therein. He said, his work is honorable. Listen to me, brothers. The works of God, they are honorable. And not only that, he said, and glorious, and his righteousness endureth forever. Look at it, verse 4. He said, he has made his wonderful works to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. How do you see God? God is gracious and full of compassion. How do you, you know, evaluate God? God is gracious and full of mercies and compassion. That's why tonight we want to bless him. We want to go before God and say, Father, if it was not because of you, I would have gone. If it had not been because of your mercy, I will no longer be in the land of the living. We want to open our mouth to appreciate God tonight. Please, let's open our mouth and begin to appreciate God tonight. Open your mouth and God wants to hear you praising him. Praise God with all your heart. Praise God with the whole of your soul and spirit and body. Open your mouth and give all the... I want to hear us pray, brethren. I want to hear our voice. Please unmute yourself. If you have not unmute, you have, you have unmute yourself, please try to do so. Unmute yourself. Let's hear ourselves. Open your mouth and call upon the Lord. It's time to praise God. You are praising God for your personal life. You are praising God for the journey so far. You are praising God for what God has done for you. All through from January 1st to October 1st, oh, we went through the month of January. Uh, it, it was as if, can we go through? We went through the month of February. It was as if, can we go through? We went through the month of March and the month of April and the month of May and the month of June and the month of July and the month of August and the month of September. And now this is October. Open your mouth and give him all the praises. God has brought us to the last quarter of the year. We have every cause to say, Father, thank you. Thank you once again because of your uncountable blessings. Oh, God, we are grateful unto you. Father, we praise you tonight, oh God. Almighty God, we appreciate you. Father God, we exalt your name and we say thank you once again. Thank you because of the way you have been sustaining us. Thank you because of the power, your, your power of preservation in our lives, in our souls, in our spirits, in our family. 
in our homes. Almighty God, everlasting Father, Lord, we are here to say thank you. God, we are here to say thank you. Heavenly Father, we are here to appreciate your loving kindness. We are here to say, God, you are good unto us. You are good unto us. You are great. Father, you are the one that has been helping us in all the journey of our lives. Father, we have come tonight, oh God, and we say, God, we honor you and we magnify you. Almighty God, everlasting Father, you have been watching over us because you are such a wonderful and a gracious, loving Father. You care for us, oh God. In the day and the night, you care for us. When we are traveling, you care for us. When we are sleeping, you, are, you care for us. When we are awake, you care for us. In our offices, you care for us. You will not allow the enemy to do us any harm. He said, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. You build a hedge of fire all around us. God, we say thank you. Blessed Father, we praise you. Almighty God, we say we celebrate you tonight. We celebrate your presence and glory. Almighty God, everlasting Father, God, we say, Lord, you are worthy, O oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Oh Lord, to the hour, oh, can he bury any more fear of man? Hey, me fool. Oh, Lord, Baba, oh, Lord, to the Howard, okay, he got it. Hey, me more, be a baby, need to be tiny, to be because she Oh, Lord, Baba, oh, Lord, to the Howard, okay, he got it. Hey, me, Mofi, open, hey, me, fool, oh, Lord, oh, Lord, to the Howard. Okay, he body any ni mo be your pay Oh, ni to ri honey to be gao be ko she ba ba lo ki Oh, to feed Bobo, oh, me fool. Oh, to the Howard, okay, he body. Hey, he move your pen, hey, me fool. Amen. Amen. We want to appreciate God for every brother, every sister on this on, on this online prayer meeting. Do you realize God did not allow us to lose anybody? Do you realize that God did not allow death, the spirit of death, to be to be roving around any one of us here or our family members? Do you remember that God did not allow calamity to be our portion? 
Do you remember that God did not allow any one of us to be hospitalized to the extent we are bad? The person will be bedridden. God has been fighting our battle. Open your mouth and begin to praise God once again on behalf of every one of us, on behalf of all our pastors on, the, on, the, on this prayer platform, on behalf of all our sisters, all our brothers, everyone all together, everyone associated with this online prayer meeting. Let's give all all the praises to God tonight. I want us to praise God in a very meaningful way. I want us to praise God in a very meaningful way. Open your mouth and begin to appreciate God and begin to adore Him. God is mighty and God is good and God is great. Let's thank God once again. Let's appreciate God and say, Father, thank you once again, oh Lord, for the answers you have been, you have been granted to all our requests. Let's thank God for the sponsor of this online prayer meeting. We want to say, God, thank you for your divine provision. Thank you for your mighty provision. Thank you for the wonderful thing you are doing, oh God. Almighty God, everlasting Father, Lord, we praise you. Lord, we say thank you once again, oh God. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. I'm, Amen. Reading from, I'm reading from Isaiah 43. Please open your Bible because we are praying for a new beginning. We are praying for a new beginning. Let me begin from there. Isaiah chapter 43. And we are going to read verses 18 and 19 there. God said, he said, remember ye not the former things. Don't allow the memory of those past failures. Don't allow the memory of those, you know, tears of sorrow and sadness. Don't allow the memory of all those setbacks. Don't allow the memory of, well, I've been, I don't know what is actually happening. I have not been able to make it. Don't allow the memory of all those negative things to draw you back. He said, remember, you know, the former things. Neither consider the things of old. Then in verse 19, he said, behold, I will do a new thing. A new thing, a new beginning, a new thing, a new life, a new thing in our soul, a new thing in our spirit. It. God said, I will do a new thing. That's why we are praying tonight. But then we are going to pray. Look, before then, we want to look at, uh, you know, the book of Revelation, chapter 21. Our pastor read it to us yesterday. I want to go back again to that chapter, Revelation, chapter 21. In Revelation, chapter 21. And he said, I read from verse 1. He said, and I saw a new heaven and a new half. For the first heaven and the first earth were, were passed away, and there was no more sea. Look at verse 2. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Now let me move down to verse 3. And I heard a great voice, a great voice, a great voice out of heaven, saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them. What a beautiful thing. When God abides with us, when God dwells with us, when the presence of God, or we carry the presence of God into this new month, into the month of October, into the month of November, into the month of December, all through for the rest of this year and the rest of our lives, we, we, have, we, we become the career, career of God's goodness, career of God's presence, career of God's power, career of God's glory. That's a new beginning we are talking about. It says, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men. And they will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. And God himself shall be with them, and be their God. Now look at verse, uh, verse 4. And God shall wipe away all tears. That's what I've just told you. Don't allow the memory of the past failure to, to, to track you down. He said, and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, the tears of agony, the tears of barrenness, the tears of you know, sorrow, the tears of sadness. He said, oh God, we wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death. There shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things have passed away. Look at verse 5. That's what I'm going to. Verse 5 said, And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. A new beginning. 
a new beginning. He said, I make all things new. We want to pray tonight, brethren. He said, behold, I make all things new. And he told us, and he said unto me, write, for these words are true and faithful. We know God cannot tell lies. God, he said, God is, the, is a faithful God. He's, he's a true God. He's a, lo he's a loving God. How, you know, when, what he says, he will surely fulfill him. He said, I will make all things new. He said, behold, I make all things new. We want to pray to God tonight. Let's begin with our personal life. And say, dear Father, oh God, all the memories of the past failure, mm. all the memories of setbacks in my life, all the memory of all those negativity. I caught myself away from all those things. Open your mouth. I detach myself away from all those negative memories now. Open your mouth and begin to pray to God this night. I want to hear us, brethren. I'm not hearing us praying. Open your mouth and call upon the Lord and say, Father, oh God, all the negativity, all the memories of all the setback, all the failure of the past, everything, oh God, cut off all those memories from our hearts, from our mind, from our thoughts, from our spirit, from our soul, from our body, from our lives. Open your mouth and begin to pray to God tonight and say, God, all the negative memories, oh God, you say, remember you know the former things. Neither consider the, the things of old. Open your mouth and ask God and say, God, this night, oh God, let all the memories of the negativity, the memories of the past failure be deleted out of my life, be deleted out of my soul, be deleted out of my spirit, be deleted out of me. Open your mouth and call upon the Lord tonight. Let's ask God and say, Father God, all the memory of negativity, oh God, all the past failure, all the past setback, everything is gone. It's gone and will never rise again. It will not come again to our lives again. The, for the Egyptian you have seen today, he shall see them again no more. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the name of the Lord tonight. Let's open our mouth and begin to ask God and say, God, let the memory of all those negativity be wiped out out of my life by the blood of Jesus Christ. Let everything be wiped off now. Let the blood of Jesus Christ begin to wipe out all the memories of the negativity, all the memories of the past failure, all the memories of the setback, all the memory of all those in you no know, negative thing. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord tonight. Brethren, open your mouth and call upon the Lord. The Lord is hearing our prayer. God is answering our prayer. He's there to answer us tonight. Our God is still on the throne. He, he never failed. He wants to do a new thing. He said, behold, I will do a new thing. Are you praying, my brother? Open your mouth and begin to pray. Are you praying, my sister? He said, I will do a new thing. I believe the Bible. I believe the word of God cannot fail. The scripture cannot fail. Open your mouth and say, God, Lord, in my life, begin a new thing this October 1st, oh God. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Wherever you are tonight, whether it is in the afternoon or in the daytime, wherever you are connected and you are hearing the sound of my voice, you are going to lift up your right hand unto heaven. You are going to lift up your right hand and say, God, Today is the very first day in the month of October. So today, I lift up my, my hands unto you, God. Let there be a new beginning in my life. Let there be a new beginning in my destiny. Let there be a new beginning in every area of my life. Grant unto me, oh God, a new beginning. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to a new beginning in your family. A new beginning for your wife. A new beginning for your husband. A new big a new chapter will be opened in every area of our life tonight. Open your mouth and begin to pray to God and say, God, Holy Father, once again, oh God, you said, Behold, I make all things new. A new beginning, a new beginning, a new beginning, a new beginning of breakthrough, a new beginning beginning of triumph, a new beginning of victory, a new beginning of successes, a new beginning, oh God, of a breakthrough, financial breakthrough, material breakthrough, spiritual breakthrough. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Breakthrough for your wife. Breakthrough for your husband. Breakthrough for your children. Open your mouth and begin to pray to God tonight. Oh Lord, grant unto us a new beginning. Almighty God, 
grant unto us a new beginning, O God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, on every side, O God, begins to grant me a new beginning, a new beginning for my wife, a new beginning for my children. Oh Lord, I'm asking my father once again. He said, Behold, I make all things new. Oh Lord, begin to make all things new in every area of my life, O God. In my spiritual life, oh God, in my prayer life, oh God, in my relationship with you, God, oh Lord, in my family life, oh God, Lord, I am going to make all this new, oh God, a new refresh, a new refresh, a new revival. Spiritual awakening, my father, once again, oh God, let it come once again upon our lives, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 We are still praying Amen. for a new beginning. You know, one of our leaders was leading us in the church this morning during the service. And he made allusion to something. He said he was praying for somebody within the week, this last week. And uh, while, before, while the person was coming, uh, the person looked very, the person is very young, a young lady. And uh, but when God opened his eyes, he saw there was an image of old woman inside that person. And uh, eventually when the person get, got closer, he asked her, what is your problem? Before they even opened this, before the lady could open, the brother said, I saw an image of an old woman. He said, eh, hey, that's what people have been saying. Am I old? I'm not old. And he's a very young lady. Why? Because another personality, another personality has taken over her. No wonder. Many will look for husband, they will not see. When people see them, they will see old woman. And the, the person we are talking about is very young. Maybe less than 30, very charming. Now they are seeing the, another image. We are going to pray. Maybe they have been looking at you and what they are seeing, instead of seeing you, they said they will see a pauper. They will see a wretched person. Instead of seeing a you know a rich person, they will begin to see wretchedness all over, written all over that person. We are going to pray. Any kind of image that is not our own. Any kind of image that is inside, inside our life that God has not put there. Maybe they are looking at you. They said, uh uh, this person is looking so like a pauper, a wretched person, like a beggar, wearing the garment of a pauper. We are going to pray tonight. Any contrary garment that is not of us, any kind of image, any kind of thing, we are going to pray and say, God, let the Holy Ghost begin to burn everything off tonight. Those images that is not for you, that is not of you, that is not for me, let everything be burned and be roasted up. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. Remember, it's a new beginning. Remember, it's a new beginning. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord tonight and say, God of heaven, oh God, all the garment of sorrow, all the garment of shame, mighty God, everlasting Father, tonight, let those garments be torn into pieces tonight in my life, in my body, from my, from my soul, from my spirit, from my family, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every kind of, you know, contrary image that is against the real image of man that you are put inside me. Oh Lord, let the fire of the Holy Ghost begin to root it out now. Let the Holy Ghost fire begin to root it out tonight. Tonight, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, Almighty God, all the image of wretchedness, all the image of penury and poverty, all the image, oh God, of, back, of backwardness and stagnation. Let everything be burnt up and be rooted out by the fire of God tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God, I'm asking, oh God, let your mighty spirit and power begin to prevail in this matter, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Let's be praying, brethren. God search in that Revelation chapter 21, in verse 5. And he, and he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, behold, he better look well, brethren, 
It's time for you to look with the eyes of faith. What do you see? I see a new beginning. What do you see? I see God walking on my behalf. What do you see? I see breakthrough on my way. What do you see? I see successes all over me. What do you see? I see God's goodness in my life. What do you see? I see the mercy of God. He said, behold, I make all things new. We want to pray tonight and say, God of heaven, oh Lord, in our individual lives, those who are going through agony, those who have been sick, they carry sickness up and down. They carry one terminal disease, whether kidney problem, the problem in the lung, they have problem of breathing, they have problem in the womb, maybe they will cancer, 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 or whatever. You are going to pray tonight. Say, God, you have not destined me unto sickness. You said, Behold, I make all things new. Every sickness of the Egyptian, let everything be uprooted out of my system, out of my body. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight, including barrenness. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Are there people among God that are have been, you know, money for one year, two years, three years, five years, and yet there is no issue. We want to pray tonight. Let everything be rooted down by fire. Let it be rooted down, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are having your own child by the grace of God. You are going to have your own children. You are going to be mothers of children. In the mighty name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray. Whatever thing that is wrong in the, your body, whatever thing that is wrong in your system, as a, as a man, as a woman, and you have been married for several years, yeah, that is no issue. Tonight, God is settling that case. Tonight, God of heaven is settling. He's making all things new in your life. A time of fruitfulness has come. A time of productivity has come. A time of childbearing has come. Open your mouth and begin to ask God and say, God of heaven, oh God, let everything, all the barrenness, all the childlessness, everything to be rooted out, to be taken away. This night, oh God, by the power of the Lord, by the hand of God, even tonight in Jesus' name, almighty God, I'm asking my father once again that your mighty and begin to walk in our lives. Oh God, make all things new. Oh God, every yoke of begging. Oh God, all oh, they living, living like a beggar, begging for this, begging for enough is enough. Almighty oh, God, all oh, the garment of reproach. All the garment of suffering, all the garment of, of you know of living like a beggar, oh God, we tear and we burn it into ashes tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Visit us tonight and make all things new in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. A new beginning, oh God, a new beginning of good health, a new beginning of healing, a new beginning of deliverance, oh God. Every oppression of the enemy, every finger of the wicked to be cut off now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh God, visit us once again tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Before I run down, before I take our pastor, I want to read a passage in Isaiah chapter 14. Please turn your Bible with me to the book of Isaiah chapter 14. And it's a full force. We I want us to look at Isaiah chapter 14. If you have your Bible, please turn your Bible with me. And that is what we are going to pray. A new beginning. It's a month we are going to enjoy the goodness of God. It's a month we are going to enjoy the mercies of God. Failure for anyone, no untimely, no untimely, my children, my children, no sorrows, no sadness. In fact, God of heaven will give us rest, rest from every sorrow. Look at Isaiah chapter 14. I want to read verse 1 here. He said, For the Lord we have mercy on Jacob. Put your name there. I put my name there. For the Lord, we have mercy on Shego Oholabi. For the Lord, we have mercy upon my life. For the Lord is going to show me mercy. He will show my wife mercy. He will show my children mercy. He will show all my inheritance mercy. He will show us mercy. Abundant mercy flowing. He said, For the Lord, we have mercy on Jacob. And we yet choose Israel. And set them in their own land. 
and the stranger shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Because they will see the goodness of God in my life. They will see the wonders of God in my life. And then they will want to know the God that I'm serving, the God that, is, that has done this for us. Look at verse, uh, verse 4. I mean, in verse 3, rather. Look at verse 3. He said, and it shall come to pass. Amen? Today, October 1st, the very first day in the 10th month of the year, of the first of the last quarter of the year, he said, and it shall come to pass. Claim it for yourself. It will come to pass in my life. It's coming to pass today. It's coming to pass this month. It's coming to pass in this new month. It's coming to pass this very moment, this very hour. Stand by the word of God, standing on the promises of God that cannot fail. And it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give you, that, that the Lord shall give me, that the Lord shall give every one of us rest, rest from thy sorrow. What is that thing that is making you to be sorrowful? No child in the family, no money in the family. Children cannot go to school to pay house rent become a problem. And even to meet the needs in life, it becoming a problem. He said, God will give you rest. Rest in your soul. Rest in your spirit. Rest in your life. Rest in your finances. Rest in your family. Rest for your wife. Rest for your husband. Rest for your children. He said, and the Lord shall give us rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear. Anything that is making to be fearful, will I be able to go through to the month of December? Yes, God said, I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. Oh, the Bible tells us, for God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of the summer. He said, and the Lord shall give us rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear, and from the hard bondage we are in that was made to serve. We want to pray and say, God, give me rest. God, give me rest, O oh God. Rest in my soul, rest in my spirit, rest for my children, rest for my wife, rest for the husband, rest in my ministry. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. Rest from anything that is making you to be sorrowful. You are having your rest from tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the name of the Lord. And it shall come to pass. Today is the day, October 1st. We stand on the authority of the word of God that cannot fail we stand. The Bible said that by two immutable things in which it was impossible, impossible for God to lie. God is not a man that is to lie, neither the son of man as you repent, as he said and will not do it, as he spoken and will not fulfill it. Why don't you stand upon that wall? I want to rest in my spirit, in my soul, in my family. Rest from all every sorrow. Rest from all those hard bondages. Rest from every fear. Open your mouth and begin to pray now. Let God begin to walk his miracle in our life tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. On the left, rest. On the right, rest. In the front, rest. On the back, rest. In the center, rest. In your workplace, rest. In your own, rest. In your family, rest. Even within and without, rest. Rest all. Tonight. Open your mouth and say, God grant me rest all over. Oh Lord, let God grant unto me rest all over, oh God, within and without. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. 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 It is done. Amen. I said, it is done. Amen. Amen. We thank you once again tonight. Mm. Thank you so much for all you have done. You promised to give us a new beginning. In fact, the Bible says in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. And God said, let there be light, Lord, I'm asking that tonight to God, let the glorious light of God begin to radiate, begin to shine upon everyone tonight, oh God, in Jesus' name. Amen. The light of God to begin to radiate upon every Amen. one of us, even from this moment, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Oh God, as we enter to this new month, the month of October, a month of joy, a month of happiness, a
a month of breakthrough, a month of success, a month of you know, fruitfulness, a month of celebration of your wonders in our lives. Mighty God, accomplish it, oh God, in every life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Amen. because it is done. In Thank you. Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our time has gone so I will not need any prayer. But uh from the, the from the look of things, you will see the our pastor they really mean it this time around. I don't want to be I don't want to say this month. I want to say this time around. And then it is my wish um, just pray for me. Uh if like before I will produce the this prayer immediately and put it on the on the YouTube, I will look at if it is possible, both today prayer and the yesterday prayer, so that all of us we can be listening to them and repeat them. This is all what we are listening to in, in a church like Winner, in a church like uh, uh, this one in the south of, of uh, uh, Yak Lume. I'm, I'm very sorry to, to mention it. This is all what we are looking for. And then I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus, we are going to make use of them in Jesus' name. Uh, for uh, our, our leaders, I, uh, by the power and the blood of Jesus, it will start from you in the name of Jesus Christ. And God Amen. is going to show his mighty thing in all our life in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, before Amen. you go, what this thing, what this is the promise of the Lord I want you to hold. He said, fear not. And then for every one of us, I've told us yesterday, do not look at yourself as a failure. Do not look at yourself as a disappointment. Do not look at yourself as somebody that can that as a not achiever. The way you are looking at what you want to achieve, continue to live like it, like it now. And do not do not bother about the little beginning. I wanted to share a testimony to all yesterday. And you know, if I've not seen God, I won't tell you about it. The Yoruba people says, give me you want to give me a clothes, I will look at the one you put on. I, I, but you, every one of us have been telling us my story, uh, my background story, and to now, to now you will even see it uh, when you are talking about privilege, when you are talking about my life. There's nothing to write to me about, if not because, if not because of God. And the testimony I want to share to us is just to encourage you. It's very big in my mouth, but I will say it. When I wanted to start building, I started with face me and face you. You get what I'm saying? You know, face me and face you. I started with face me and face you. I think God increased your servants again on face me and face you again. I'm sharing this not to be boasting, but to let you know that do not do not stop. In I've seen a friend of mine that bought a house of 55, 55 million naira in Lekki. I've seen a friend of mine, I've seen the houses they are building. But when, when I started, I didn't look at it in that way. I just believed that, oh, God, anything happen, I too will have to out to lay my head. So I started with faith me and faith you. By the last time I will do it, they are building a 12 self contained Look at me, I started with, uh, with, with faith me and faith you. I'm in the United States. And I didn't, I didn't deny the opportunity. I grabbed it. And I was proud of it. I've shown it to my family. I've shown it to my friend that I look at what God has done. But the last time God will do it, it was self self contained. At all. So, you know, I'm saying all this not as a proud, but as look at my English for Christ's sake. But I don't mind. Somebody from another ministry called me the last time. He said, You know, Pastor Matthew, you know why I'm so so I so wonder about you. Well, the reason why I only share testimony when you are not there. That's why your accent, that's why your English, you don't stop evangelism. I don't mind. There's a lot of things I cannot pronounce. If you have been taking note of me on online prayer, but I don't care. But look at our ministry. From Belgium to Britain to Germany to anywhere, I'm dead. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. So what I'm saying is, you know, my little, and do not regret your life. Only be proud of your life. Only be proud of it. Nobody can live that life again. I'm telling you, you are the only one. You are the only one. And make use of it. I 
Then we not prayer with it. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, our testimony is going to be full in Jesus' name. Let's share the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, the love of, the love God, of God, and, and the, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, Spirit be with us now and forevermore. And forevermore. Amen. Holy goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days, all the days of, our of our lives, life, and we shall be in the house of the Lord, Lord forever and ever. ever. Amen. 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 Thank you. We shall meet in the and then you, the preacher. Please, you too, be sharing your messages. Don't be 